really gain from what you done done it's so silly how come you just lost one <laughs> oh my god what is going on everybody welcome to another episode of junior's world of soul i am back with a new video as y'all can see i am so hyped to come into that with that song but I am back to represent R&B so the right way, people. As you can hear, I came in with Lauryn Hill's classic, Lost One. And it's crazy because I was watching a video of her doing it recently. I think it might have been last night. And when she came in with the song, she was talking. And she was like, yo, let's just get it started with this. And the beat dropped. And the crowd lost it. And it was like, wow, like this song is crazy. And then... For like the past two weeks, like this song has really, really been hitting me. You know what I'm saying? With the stuff that you know that I'm dealing with. But it's all good because at the end of the day, when you lose something, hey, you gain somebody else. You know what I mean? So it's all good for what it is. But um, I am back with a new episode of uh, Current R&B Bangers. Now, um, if you are new to Junior's World of Soul, Current R&B Bangers is all about giving a platform to sign and unsigned artists because right now R&B is not really getting respected like it should be. So I felt for me that loves R&B, I felt like why I, if I can do something about it instead of complaining all the time, I'm going to create a platform where I can give, you know, signed and unsigned artists, you know, a platform for their music to be heard because clearly mainstream is not loving us right now, especially when it comes to R&B music and they feel like you know, they're giving the world that R&B soul is dying. And let me tell y'all something. Stop music right now. R&B is not dying. It is alive and well. We just need more platforms. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's why I, I did Junior's World of Soul. Just to give another platform to R&B artists. Because I feel like it's not right. And I just don't like how the mainstream world is just giving this impression that R&B is dying. Because like I say in every video, R&B is alive and well. And I try to prove that every week with current R&B bangers. So every week I try to give you four to six bangers so you can be like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not hearing these songs on the radio or I'm not hearing these talked about in the blogs. Ooh, let me go listen to them and then you can pass it on to somebody else. And word of mouth is always great when it comes to word of the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Some albums, like for instance, going taking y'all back a little bit. R.I.P. to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. My mom told me when that soundtrack came out, it was really word of mouth. How Sparkle really blew up. You know what I'm saying? Because it was word of mouth. It went around and people just started catching on and it blew up. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all good. Um, Like I said, I give y'all four to six joints every week. And this week, I have five for y'all. So, hopefully, after you guys hear them and... Um, Hopefully you enjoy them after you hear them and then you stream, you know Before I used to say call your radio stations and try to get these songs played on the radio But it's not even about that anymore. It's about the streaming and listen <laughs> I know R&B is kind of at the bottom when it comes to streaming numbers, you know what I'm saying? So listen when you hear these songs stream them, you know YouTube now is counting things now and you know it's a Spotify Apple music whatever your streaming pl platform and uh, and your preference is please, please stream that because I really, really want R&B to really get its respect back in mainstream again. So let's get this started. I am starting off with the legend, Miss Mariah Carey. Um, now, I've been hard on Mariah for the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, as far as live performances and things like that, you know what I'm saying, but that's not taken away from her being a legend, you know what I'm saying, so... When she was, um, I was hearing that she was coming out with a new album. It wasn't confirmed yet, but I was just hearing that she was coming out with a new album. So she threw us the first single. It, it was GTFO, which I wasn't a big fan of. I was like, it didn't get me. You know what I'm saying? And then she came out with the other one, Without You. And I was just like, mm. it, it just wasn't hitting me like I know a Mariah single hits me. You know what I'm saying? It gets me excited. For an album, you know what I'm saying? For for example, I know when I heard It's Like That from the Emancipation of Mimi, I was like, oh, okay, Mariah's doing it. I even enjoy, even with Obsessed with the memoirs, I like that. 
You know what I'm saying? Touch my body. Yeah, we can say now it was a little corny, but it still got you hyped. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard these songs, I was like, oh, Lord, I I'm not liking what I'm hearing. But finally, she told us she was coming out with a new album, and she gave us the first single. And listen, Mariah came with the flavor with this one. This one I like, I enjoy. Um, it's a new record with Ty Dolla Signs. And when I heard the song, what I got from it is being a Mariah fan, I was getting Daydream album vibes, and I was also getting Rainbow album vibes. Like, it was just, it, it felt like just like that airy sound that she gave us on Daydream and kind of like a little airy sound she gave us on Rainbow. I was like, ooh, this is, I like this. And then it had that current sound. It's a classic Mariah, but it had the current sound to it. And that's what I really love. The song is entitled The Distance. It's a hit for sure. Like, Rock Nation, get on it, push it, because if you push this, it will be a hit. Bottom line. So, this is the first joint of current R&B bangers. It's Mariah Carey with The Distance with uh, Ty Dolla Sign. So, here we go. Tell me that joint ain't right right there. When I heard it, I was like, Mariah, this is what I like. This is what I want. This is what I've been waiting for. Like, this is a single that I've been waiting for. Now, I'm so hyped for the album. Like, I'm really, really hyped for it. Um, like I said, Rock Nation, that's what she's on. Listen, push this song. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely getting people excited for what's to come. You know, the her normal fans, you know, the lambs are going to say, you know, they love everything we do, everything she does. But sometimes we have to keep it real with ourselves and, and be like, listen, I wasn't a big fan of those two songs, but this song, The Distance, she got it. It connects to the young. She's still giving us the classic Mariah vibes. I think this joint is a hit. Um... Her new album, uh, Caution, is coming out November 16th. So like I said, after hearing The Distance, I'm so hyped for this joint. The Distance is all, all streaming networks. Wherever you stream your music at, it's on there. So check it out. So the first joint on current R&B bangers is The Distance by Mariah Carey and Ty Dolla Sign. Mariah got a big one on that one. For real. All right, so the next one is coming from my boy Raheem Devon. Um, you know, it's crazy because I was just finished talking about him in last week's current R&B bangers um, because I talked about his dope joint, That Way, uh, Act 1. I play that song like every day for the past week. I have been running that song every day. It's just smooth. It got a vibe to it. And if you've been under a rock and, and maybe this is your first time uh, watching current R&B bangers, here is the joint that I played last week by Raheem Devon, That Way, Act 1. And uh, it goes a little something like this. Here we go. Get it that way. That way, babe. Uh, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. That way. Dang, I didn't grab my cup on that one. Yeah, it, it felt weird, too. You see what I'm saying? Like, I normally got to have my cup in my hand. And that joint right there, you got to have your cup in your hand. You just got a nice little two-step with it. You know what I'm saying? That song is dope. And um, this was actually the third single, if I'm not mistaken, off the new album that he just released Friday. The album is entitled uh, Decade of a Love King. Now, I really enjoyed this album. You know what I'm saying? Um... If you know Raheem, if you've known him since 2005, he brings the love, the love-making records. And he did it. Like, again, on this one, he did a Temperatures Rising Part 2. He did Reverse. I'm going to let you think about that, and I'm going to just leave it there. And uh, Love, Sex, Passion. Um, his other joints, but for real, it was uh, the last song on the album. is called uh, When It's Real. And definitely when 
you know, he's talking about when you get into a real relationship. And what I like is Raheem really brought the church in this record. And you feel the emotion of it, too, because in the beginning, he's... um playing the uh the organ in that church organ like like how i like to say it and i'm gonna keep it real the funeral organ and you really hear it and then raheem is just singing and then the church runs he gives in that record so that record when it uh when it's real has to be probably my favorite joint on the album but i felt like when i heard this song i was like this has to be the single this has to be a single if you're gonna go with another one raheem i feel like this song, Say the Word, will be a great single. Um, it's clear. And you know what's crazy? It's the track before That Way. That's what's crazy. But, yo, it's a bop and it's catchy. It's very catchy. And I see this generation right now, needs. they like catchy things. If it's catchy, they like it. If it's not, it just kind of turns them off. But if you can get them by the beat, but then you can get them by a catchy, catchy hook, then you got them. And I feel like this hook is catchy. And um, I think it's a great song. So... I was like, I'm going to talk about this joint because I feel like it's a hit. So um, this is the second joint of current R&B bangers. This is entitled uh, Say the Word, and this is by Raheem Devon. So here we go. And Raheem is definitely on his sexy shit right there. He's definitely on his sexy vibe. You know what I mean? But still, you can't, it's, it's still a bop. Like, you can still move to it. And I think it's dope. And like I said, the, the, <laughs> it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? Just holla, say the word. Just holla, say the word. Like, how, how catchy? <laughs> That's catchy. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like, listen, Raheem. If you ever see this video, make this song a single. I can see you making a dope video to it. You know what I'm saying? And hey, like I said, Raheem is on his sexy shit, but this joint is still a bop. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in all, check out Raheem's new album, um, Dedic uh, Decade of a Love King. Listen, it's cuffing time. We It's getting cold. We need records like this because we're going to be in the house. We're going to be chilling. You know what I'm saying? And Raheem got you, so check that out. But this joint is such a bop. So the second joint on current RB bangers is Say the Word by Raheem Devon. Alrighty, alrighty. This is I love this part because the next three joints that I'm gonna talk about I found all on SoundCloud. Now, if you are um a a, a, a faithful watcher of uh, Junior's World of Soul and current RB bangers, I tell you in most of all my videos. That I'm a lover of SoundCloud because I feel like people can just upload their music and they don't have to worry about the politics that it goes into, especially if you're not signed. You can just put your record out and just let the people, you know what I'm saying? For people like me that's looking for R&B that we can't find it, you know what I'm saying? And for me, I every day I just go to the uploads and I just listen. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are bad, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say and, you know, some of them don't have the greatest production, but you also find something that's great and deserves shine. And it's like, you know, platforms like Current R&B Bangs can give people like that, you know, um, could just give them, how can I say this? Could give them just a, basically a platform so, so their music can be displayed. Because me, I try to find R&B music and mainstream just ain't it. Right now, when it comes to R&B, so I can go to somewhere like SoundCloud and listen to people uploading their music. So, I love this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the next three artists, like I said, is all I found from listening to SoundCloud. But, I'm going to start it with uh, a, a female. And, um, I was jamming to, like I said, the upload. And, um, I heard this familiar beat. Now... I know all of you guys, when you hear it, the first thing you're going to say is, it's Tupac's all about you. But for me, 
Even though I thought about that song too, but I also know that All About You, they used a the sample for Candy, so by um, Cameo. So that was the first thing I thought. And I was like, ooh, I like it. And then I liked the way she was riding the beat. I was like, one thing, you can get a great beat, but if you're not riding it right with your vocals, because most of the time, sometimes it's a hip hop beat. And sometimes people just sound bad on hip hop beats because they can't ride it. You know what I'm saying? That's what Mary J. Blige is the best at, riding a hip hop beat. But it was like, I heard it and I was like, yo, she's riding this beat. And then I look up and I saw it was Britney Holmes. And I was like, oh, that was the girl that sung I Have Nothing on American Idol. I was like, oh, even though she didn't get through, I thought she was great because that day it was a lot of people that suck that went through, you know what I'm saying? But I was just like, whatever, you know, ain't none of my business. Because clearly I know for a fact how they pick people, you know what I'm saying? Because I had somebody that I know that was actually auditioned and should have got in, but they didn't put him because I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to blow up nobody's spot. But all I know is American Idols be on some bull, period. But um, I thought she did a, a, a great job, but... What I like about that is Britney did not let that stop her. And after researching her and going on her um, her SoundCloud and her, her Instagram, she's hustling. She's still putting her music out there. You know what I'm saying? And that right there was just, I was like, you know what? If I can help her in her hustle to get her music played and get her, you know, some exposure, I said, why not? And, um... You know, this joint is a bop. It's very familiar. Y'all gonna definitely know it. But, and clearly she calls it all about you. So, um, here is uh, Brittany Holmes with the third joint of current R&B bangers. It's all about you. So, here we go. familiar you know what I'm saying that's a familiar joint and I like because she's giving me Mariah Carey ish you know what I'm saying and it's giving me kind of the what is it the rainbow era when she did a, a heartbreaker give me a love give me a love like she's giving me that on there I think she's dope you know what I'm saying the girl can sing you know what I mean she has the talent you know what I mean so um definitely I want you guys to check her out I'm going to put all her social media in the more info box. Definitely, definitely, definitely check her out. I think she dope. And, and this joint, come on, man. You can't tell me she not riding that. You ain't going to be able to move. Like, come on. I can't even stay still to this joint. But like I said, Brittany Holmes, all about you. I'm going to put all her info in the more info box. Please, y'all, check her out because she is dope. Alrighty, we just going through it today. That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get y'all out of here. I ain't trying to keep y'all all day. You know what I'm saying? But um, the next artist, again, I found on SoundCloud. His name is Christian. Now, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. And I have been destroyed from pronouncing people's names completely wrong. So, I don't do it no more. So, what I'm going to do is just spell his last name. And he spells it. L-E-H-R, but he goes by Christian. So, um, so, but anyway, I was jamming to uh, SoundCloud and uh, his song Bleed came on and it just hit me because I was just like, yo, I don't know the emotion of the track. If you know me, I'm such an emotional listener. It's like I try to find an emotion in a record that connects to me. And this song, Bleed, did that. And I was just like, after I finished the song, I was like, yo, let me check out this Christian cat. Let me see who he is. So when I went and started doing my research, I was like, Christian, he's an all, like, full entertainer. Like, I went back and he had some stuff from 2012 and dude was dancing and all that. And I was just like, yo, like, this dude is really talented. He's like, um a favorite of current RB bangers that I talk about a lot, uh, Tone Snit. And, like, he's actually on tour with um, her right now. But 
you know, Christian gives me that vibe. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, okay, I like what I'm seeing, but let me make sure the talent is there. We're talking about the vocals because y'all know how I feel about vocals. I don't want the computer singing for you. I want the vocals to be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you sounding like no goat either. So I was like, let me check him out. And all I got to say when I checked out his YouTube page, he does a lot of uh, mashups. The brother can sing. He can sing. It's there. The talent is there. You know what I'm saying? He can run. What? He can run. You know what I'm saying? But he can definitely, definitely sing. Um, a favorite of mine when he did Aaliyah's. Um, and then when he also did the Hotline Bling, like, those were dope. I was like, okay, this dude has talent. Because if you can sit in front of a microphone and you ain't got to do all this to try to, you know, please me. And I can just hit and close my eyes and listen to you sing. Then you got me. You know what I mean? And he, he really did. You know what I'm saying? But, um... I'm going to put all his YouTube page, all that in the more info box so y'all can definitely check him out. He definitely got a lot of uh, big following, so it's so dope that, you know what I'm saying, him already have a big following, people are still, you know what I'm saying, then I can I can find him, you know what I'm saying, so I think that's dope. But um, about four days ago, he released uh, his uh, album Offline, and uh, he released a couple of singles off of it already, Hit My Line, which he's dancing like crazy in the video. You know what I mean? And, but I do love when he did it, the acoustic version. Dope. That's why I said the boy has the talent. Like, the video was dope. Him doing all the dancing and doing all this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't Michael out here. You know what I'm saying? But I can, I can get my dance on, but he was killing it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like I said, I love the acoustic version that he did. He released the video, uh, for Friends. That's another song. I think that's the first song on the album. Yes. And um, he did a video for it. I'll put that in the more info box. But um, the offline has eight joints. And my favorite has to be Bleed. And um, like I said, when I heard Bleed after, you know, finding him after listening to the upload. And I just liked the emotion of it. But then it still had like a bop to it. If you can get that with me and I can still move but I can still feel the record, then... You got me, because when it's from the heart, it reaches the heart. And I think that's what he did in this song. And I was like, you know what? This is a song I'm going to talk about. So the fourth joint of current r &B bangers is Bleed by Christian. So here we go. Nice little bop to it, you know what I'm saying? But it's musically, you can like feel the emotion of the record. And like I said, one thing about Christian, he is a runner. But the joint is dope. And I really like it, you know what I'm saying? If you listen to the words, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting there at my desk and I'm just listening to it. And I'm just like vibing to it. Even though it still got a bop that's going to make you move, I still like the emotion of the record. And that's what really, really caught me. Um, and like I said, you know, not like I said, but I like what he said in the beginning of the record. He was like, sometimes we make decisions that we don't like. And I was like, oh my God, what? Like that hits home because sometimes you got to make a decision for yourself. And sometimes you're not going to like that decision. But at the end of the day, when you look back and you be like, you know what? I like this decision that I made as far as relationships, as far as just anything in life. And you can't keep bleeding for something. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's like, when is it going to stop? You know what I'm saying? I just got to move on. And that's what kind of hit me. And again, I say I'm an emotional listener and that's how it connects to me. So I think it's a dope, dope song. Um, again, Bleed is dope. Check out uh, Christian's EP offline. Um, is Dope, dope, dope. I enjoyed it. It's on all your streaming, wherever you stream at. It's also on his SoundCloud page. I'm going to put that in the more info box. But, yo, Bleed, that's the one for me. So, uh, that is the fourth joint of current R&B bangers. That is Bleed by Christian. Alrighty. So, we are at the last artist. Now, I found this artist again. 
jam into uh, SoundCloud and the beat came on and I just started rocking at my desk. I was just like, ooh, this joint is sick. And um, I looked at my computer and I saw that the girl's name was Twee. And she spells it T-H-Y-U-Y. And uh, she's from the Bay Area. And I was like, first of all, with her spelling it, I was like, okay, I need to check her out. Because I saw it was Twee, but I was like, she spells it like, because I would have pronounced it completely wrong. I would have said something completely wrong. And like I said, I ain't got time for it because I ain't trying to mess up nobody's name no more. So um, I went on her IG page. And the first thing I saw in her like story, she had covers. So I was like, okay, let me go there. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I'm here for the talent, people. I want to make sure the talent is there. And she sang, she bodied this joint uh, by uh, Tori Kelly called All In My Head. She bodied it, sitting in a car, just straight singing. And I was just like, you better sing, Twee. Like, come on. Like, I was like, whoa. So um, I was like, yo, the talent is definitely there. So the song that I was introduced to her was Options, but it came out in August. But one thing, like my brother Sin always says, better late than never. It's, it's, if the song is good and it's good music, it doesn't matter when you catch on to it. And I'm so glad that I did. It's definitely a summer record. But, hey, it deserves still to get shine. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? Options may be two months old, but I'm going to still talk about it because it's dope. So this is the fifth joint of current R&B bangers entitled Options by Tweet. So here we go. Definitely a, a pop undertone, but it's still R&B. When you hear her voice, you can tell when you listen to her, she definitely influenced by R&B music. Hell, everybody's influenced by R&B soul music. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think, yo, she's dope. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, yes, this song might be two months old, but it deserves to get some shine. So I said I wanted to talk about it on here. Um, listen, check out Tui and her music. I'm going to put all her social media in the more info box. Definitely check her out because she is dope and the girl can blow. And right then and there, we need that talent because these, now with R&B and hip-hop getting smashed together, like, ugh, you can't even tell the difference between the two. And you got people, you know, that sounding horrible and got computer singing for them and we don't need no mess like that. So, Listen, check out Twee. Like I said, I'm going to put all her information in the more info box. But that joint is dope. Options. And I know, you know, I know I probably will be talking about Twee next week too. Because she got this joint called The Way. And that joint is dope too. So, um, again, that was the last joint of current R&B banger. That is Twee with Options. Well, those are your five joints from the week. It's coming from Mariah Carey with The Distance. Raheem Devon with Say The Word. Brittany Holmes were all about you. Christian with Bleed and Sweet with Options. Now, all those had a different sound. You know what I'm saying? It still was R&B. It might have, like Mariah's, it connected to the young, but it still gave us that classic Mariah. Raheem Devon's was still R&B. Christian's was definitely R&B. You know what I'm saying? Um... Tweed's options had a pop undertone, but the R&B influences were still there. And, uh, who else am I missing? Oh, Brittany Holmes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, All About You. That joint was dope just as well and still was R&B. And that's what we're missing. And because, like I said, it sucks that R&B and hip-hop right now is so mixed together or mashed together or whatever you want to call it. It's like... We can't even tell the difference anymore. And then the sounds are the same. And R&B and hip-hop never really had the same sound. You can always tell the difference between the two. And we don't have that now. You know what I'm saying? But I just proved to y'all with five joints 
that all these joints sound different, but they still current and they still R&B. So I just proved to y'all R&B is still alive and well. People, please don't let mainstream fool y'all into all that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm glad I have a platform to prove that. I got a shout out to um, R&B. R and bass. Uh, you know I got soul. This is R and B. Singers room. All the websites is really representing R and B the right way because sometimes these bigger sites just use and just say an R and B artist just to get clicks, and it's sad. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not giving R and B the right platform. They only a lot of them just say R and B because some of them are black. Because some of these artists. Don't do R&B music. That's neither here nor there. We can get into another discussion. But I'm about to end the video because I didn't kept y'all long enough. But um, y'all know me. Um, since I talked about Mariah, I was like, I'm going to end with one of my favorite Mariah Carey songs. It's actually a B-side, and I love it. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. You subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? But... Also, I want to leave y'all with this. Um, on this Thursday, I will be on The Goodness on um, WFDU 89.1. You can listen to on iHeartRadio. I will be giving my segment that I give uh, every last Thursday of the month, JR's Top 5 uh, R&B Bangers of the Month. So I kind of put all my current R&B bangers um, uh, that I did this month, and I pick five, and I talk about them on the show. And... Um, and the goodness, man, it is a great show. Um, shout out to my big bro, D. He plays old school R&B. He plays, you know, old school hip-hop, new hip-hop, new R&B. Like, it's just the goodness. It's a show that makes you feel good. So hopefully y'all check that out. But I'm going to get out of here, like I said, with one of my favorite Mariah songs that actually is a B-side. And um, we're going to play it like this. And uh, we're going to get out of here, y'all. So here we go. Uh, oh, come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. So far, so far. You're slipping away, away. I'm out, y'all. See y'all next week. Peace.